Duolingo yeah. updated its Korean tree. The Korean again. course has been updated from five to six. Try with a new update to Duolingo. So I'm going to be the bearer of bad Hello, news, but Duolingo had updated the beginning. Duolingo has updated the beginning. Duolingo has updated the beginning. It's been a year, ladies and gentlemen. One year ago, I decided it was a good idea to check out Duolingo Korean, and a lot of you seem to love it. Duolingo apparently did a massive update. Now there's 61 units. If you don't know how much of an increase that is, there were five units when I did the sequel. Without further ado, Duolingo.com. While the website is loading, let me just quickly introduce myself. I am Korean. I was born in Korea. I was raised in Korea, and I've lived in Korea, Canada, and America, but I've lived in Korea the longest. Welcome back. Let's start by reviewing the basics. Yeah, no thanks. Where am I? Unit 21. What's the very bottom one? People have told me it's 61 and they are right. We should just start off with unit 61. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe this? I don't think Duolingo is going to do another major update. Do they just do an update every year? How do you say pet? Ewan Dongwur. Tapta is to catch. Shiksa is meal. Or I guess it could be a verb. Ewan Dongwur, yes. That's the first question, yay! And we also have, there's three lives here, very ominous. You're off to a great start! Oh, there's a lot of choices this time. Definitely looks a bit harder. What if the bike has no brake? Yeah. What do you do if the bike has no brakes? I guess that works, but I went with the more concise way. Wow, this is such a different vibe to like the part two video. I feel like the sentences weren't even like this complex. The mosquito incense smells sweet. Yes, we're off to a great start. Owl also agrees. How do you say six days? Yatse. Now, you could say yugi, but there are like Korean words to define certain things. I feel like we need a Korean lesson for this. All right, just to show what I'm talking about, there are certain ways to count the number of days. That rhymes. Anyways, uh, you could say like either, right? Year, in this case, yugi. Basically just a number plus days. That would be a literal English translation, I can't speak. Either, year, yugi. This is like, this is basically from Chinese, but there are ways to say this in like a pure Korean fashion. For example, haru, that is one day. Iter, that's two days. Saher is three days. Now this might be confusing because ha means four, but saher means three days, not four days. What does four days mean then? It's nahi. I know, I'm just blowing your mind over here. Hatse, five days. And yotse, six days. Yeah, that's how we arrive at this thing. Haru, iter, sar, dar, tatsu, yotse. This is like a pure Korean form on how to count days. Wow, what is Duolingo's obsession with mosquito incense? <laughs> Bug sprays are necessary. I didn't see coils. I actually didn't see coils. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you said mosquito incense, why can't you just bring the same word here? Are you messing with me? Or you're, you're actively trying to sabotage me? I'm like a sixth of the way there and I already lost the heart. Are you kidding me? Oh, and here we are. How do you say five days? Well, we just went over that. I'm glad I taught the lesson now. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I recognize this sentence because this showed up on my part two video. is onomatopoeia of thunder. And since there's rumble here, maybe I have to include that. Yes, I'm right. Except that time we actually translate from English to Korean. This also works. Please use the pen. Wow, I wonder what the order would be. There's a 50% chance, even for people who don't know. So easy. Head beat. Head beat, sunlight, no uh, even though it wouldn't really matter, but even in English you would say uh sunlight, so. Morang morap. Morang morap, by the way, is like onomatopoeia for like billowing smoke. Hyeonanen, rising. Honyok, yeonggi. That doesn't make sense. What I just said is rising evening smoke. Whatever. Yes! All right, oh. Buma, <laughs> that is. Wait, I don't actually know the English. That's the Korean national flower. I'm gonna search this up because you know why? I actually know this in English, but I don't see the word. Is it a Sharon rose? Google is called the Rose of Sharon. Yo, I would never have known that. I'm sorry. I would never have known that. I, I thought we had like a specific word for Bugunghwa or we either just say literally Bugunghwa in English. Well, I learned something new. The rice is watery, except I don't know, chilpoginda? That kind of like makes it sound like it's a bit like porridgey. It's not really watery, but it like, it's like the semi state of like solid and liquid. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah, you, you got my point. <laughs> 
And thus I answer my question from one year ago as to what would happen if I did not put pronouns in front of the sentence. I should have read the question carefully and see that tonen was here, which means I. I've mentioned before that in Korean sentences, you don't necessarily need pronouns. You can convey any sentence or any meaning without using pronouns. Bogoso can mean I ate or he ate or bogoso could mean did you eat? And Duolingo obviously is gonna penalize me for that. Okay. <laughs> Harry Potter. That's Konglish. That's a direct translation of Harry Potter. Again, I've made a video on how to read Korean letters. So if you wanna go check that out, go check out this lovely video that I made back in like what, 2019? I think it's one of the best videos I've ever made. Go watch this video and you too can learn how to pronounce Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, I feel like a lot of words, Korean words. They repeat two words to like describe something. I guess onomatopoeia for pounding, like for the smoke. There's a lot of examples I can think of too, you know? Like There's a lot. Yeah, there's just a lot of words. I really do like how uh, the sentences are getting more complex because a lot of criticism that I saw in the YouTube comments was that Duolingo isn't helpful because it teaches you random sentences like fox's milk or like butter with butterflies or whatever. That's the comments I read. But we're talking about stuff that's a bit more applicable to real life, it seems like. The girl said that she would eat chokbar with samjang. Wow, these are... These are some advanced stuff. Tokbai, that's pig sweet. Samjang is some sort of paste. It's not chili paste, but it's some sort of spicy paste. Uh, maybe I'll have a translation here. That's what it means. I'm writing a, a little pattern of the sentences here. That seems to be the general pattern here. Oh, I, I guess I could have said 같이 먹을 거라고 했어요, which means together. 같이 means together. But somehow, Jill will let me through. And we're done. Are we done? The most important thing is though, are we done with every unit because we started on unit 61? I've earned four lingots. Incredible. I've unlocked unit 61. Oh my God, does that mean- Hold on, hold on. Wow, I have done everything. Ha <laughs> ha. I have done everything. So I didn't finish the course yet. Oh my God, maybe I- Okay, I'll just do another- do I really? I mean, excuse me. I did unit 61. I should be done right now. I am done. Oh my God. Same thing, same thing. No thanks. Hey, I need to be on my way. What the f- No. Hey, okay, hold on. This is unfair. I have to fill up every circle. Wow, Duolingo really changed it up. That means I have to redo the circle and then do that circle, that, 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 this chest thing, that, 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 and that. Oh my God. Oh. There's no way. There's no way I can finish this. I don't need to prove myself to you, sir. Well, I don't need your diamond trophy. This is it. That it's the next day. And guess what? We're back on Duolingo Korean. I realize that I can't just let this owl win. I mean, like, I am so much better than the owl. So here we are after a lot, a lot of grinding. We are at the last quiz. If you don't believe me, seriously, look at this graph. That is what we did. And I swear to God, I've never grinded Duolingo this hard. Last time I've done this is like when I grinded Spanish like seven years ago, okay? Also each circle has five quizzes. So guess how many quizzes I just did? That's like 60 quizzes. I solved over 300 questions to get to this place. I swear the developers watched my Korean speedrun video and they were like, nah, we can't let people just finish the course in half an hour. We gotta, we gotta have a little check. Let's start. Oh, so easy. Oh, so easy. So easy. Okay, there's been a lot of this, really, and Just I have become sick. such uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I was, I was become such a master at this. Also, why are the questions so easy? This is supposed to be the last obstacle between me and the diamond trophy. Why is it so easy? Wait, I don't even see the, uh, the hearts. Are there no hearts? Finally, our first sentence. The firefighter announced that he would inspect That building. Oh, sh- oh. Literally, I read through this sentence like twice and I thought that was that. I swear to God, I don't have dyslexia. I swear, I've done like over 300 questions, right? And all the questions are just repetition. They just keep repeating. It's the same thing over and over again. And I swear the questions are just like, just combined. All just swimming around in my head. Like I'm gonna be dreaming of Duolingo when I go to sleep tonight. Ice. I feel like, hold on, I mean, at this point, like, which one of these is ice? I can literally see 
the images. Like, I don't need, this is not even Korean at this point, you know? Final question. Oh, wow, that just says it. Wait, wait. Wait, hey, I didn't know that Julian just shows you the answer for like each word. That means you can just like assemble the words and like get the answer, right? Huh? Also, one thing I noticed after solving 300 questions is the same thing here. One difference uh, from like the previous Duolingo videos I made is that there is no typing anymore. There's no longer any like room for errors, should I say? I, I swear to God, the developers, they must have watched my video or something. Like they knew that there's so many ways to like phrase a question if you actually type it out. And they were like, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna make everything like pick and choose, stuff, stuff like that. I swear to God, that's what must have happened here. Cause like, there's been such a drastic change in Duolingo. I feel like my video should have played at least some contribution to that. Anyway, oh, wow, look at that. I've earned 772 XP today. Incredible. What's next? <gasps> the trophy's ours again, baby. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We're here. Show me the animation. Show. They got rid of the animation. <laughs> Why does it feel like a trophy gets degenerate every sequel I make? When I pressed the trophy like a year ago, it used to do like this cool animation with like the owl flying and stuff. Now it's just a shaking trophy. I think I'm done. I think I can reasonably assume that I am very much done with this. Look, look, like I'm done. Like all these are golden, right? I'm done, I'm so done and I got the trophy. So I think that really wraps up the uh, whole Duolingo experience for me. Uh, that was sort of anticlimactic. I thought there'd be like a, a huge final quiz that just like, I don't know, upgrades every lesson I've done, but surely that was not the case. But hopefully you learned a lot of things like me on the way in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, do leave a like, leave a comment down below. In case you haven't watched part one or two, you should go watch them in the playlist below. And of course, if you want to read or learn how to read Korean in 20 minutes, you should watch this video wherever I'm going to put in the end screen. Because I think it's, again, one of the best videos I've ever made. And more Korean videos are going to be coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'll see you later. Goodbye.